Welcome back to our channel. Hello. As you all know, we are currently not able to travel around the UK. So we thought it's nice to make some plans yeah. with you. And we want to get you involved. Yeah, and we've got a simple idea. We looked up some locations where we could stay overnight and which would have been used as a filming location. Yes, they are like historic historic places, beautiful places. Yeah. Which you recognise if you know the films. Yeah, we are quite sure you will you will know them. And they are the historic places are on big estates and usually so we did some research and thought why not look up places that have like cottages or houses on the estate yeah. itself and book a holiday there. Yeah, because then you've got a real family. A uh, feeling. A feeling, yes. Yeah. yeah. And well, it will probably, we looked up what might be free like later in the year. And yeah, we found, I think we found some very amazing spots. Yeah. Seven spots. And yeah, help us choose. So we had to make some notes. Yeah. So the first thing, the first house is Montague House in Somerset. Yes, and I've looked it up on the internet and it looks really nice. Oh yeah. It's from the beginning of the 17th century, just at the end of Elizabeth's first reign. And it's in a visit room style and it's a wonderful house and a wonderful garden. It looks amazing and it, it has been on our wish list yeah. for a while. Yeah. The house was used for the adaptation of Sense and Sen Sensibility, yeah. Jane Austen, of Yeah, course. the famous one with, I think, was it Kate Winslet and Emma Thompson? Yes, from 1995 and it's it's our favourite adaptation. Yeah, one of them. It's beautiful. I remember I watched it about two months ago. So Montacute House is Cleveland in Sense and Sensibility. Yeah. Home to the Palmers. Yeah, and I remember it because Mr. Palmer was played by you, Laurie. Yeah. And I'm a, I like him. Simply like him. I like him how he plays and how he does his things. He's he's amazing. Yeah. And he's he comes across like in sense sense and sensibility like quite a nasty guy. Yeah, very rude. But in the end, with a such like a loving character in the yes, end. He's, yes, he's wonderful. Yeah, because he's probably just rude because he thinks all the other people around him are just stupid. <laughs> no, I, to be honest, I think he just can't stand his wife. Yes. He just can't yes. stand his wife. But, um, well, let's move on. We found a yeah. wonderful property to stay and it is called South Lodge. Yeah. And what we will do, we will uh, we will show you the photos in between, what it looks like so you get an idea and cast your vote for yeah. what you would like to see um, as a film. Yeah. Where we can stay. Yeah. yeah, where you want us to stay. Where uh, you the want us to stay. The properties show today. Exactly. So, but the South Lodge, I also, also looked it up and it's really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Did we? No, we didn't say more about it. It's like also Elizabethan style. Yes. And amazing. Yes, and it's for us. It's too big because it usually has to. It's for six people. Yeah. But it looks nice. Yes, definitely worth staying. I yes. think. And it's really the old. It's just in the same style as the house. Yeah, beautiful. Just, just tiny. But a tiny <laughs> version. It would be a yeah. great house to live in. Probably. Yes. Yes. Now, the next house is Tinsfield, and it's also in Somerset. Yeah. It's a Victorian Revival Gothic house. Yeah, and it's a house which we visited, I think, two years ago. Yeah, and we loved it. Yes, it's beautiful. The property is... The house is so special, because its style is very, very special. The thing is, and that's why we have it on our list, we went inside of the house. Yeah but we didn't see much because there was something going on. Yeah, they did cancellation work, so some rooms were closed, some rooms were just stuffed with the stuff they took out of the other rooms, so, yeah. so what we want to do is we want to go there again and see how it looks now. Yeah, and what they filmed there is, it's one of your favourite series, Jörg, yeah. which is BBC's Charlotte with Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes, I love 
So they they did a, a, a bit of filming there, and what they also filmed there is Agatha Christie's Crooked House. Yeah. So that's actually a very new version, yeah. Yes, it's it is. Yeah. Probably two years old, but they have another wonderful property yeah. that you can uh, rent for holiday, yeah. which is called Chaplain's House. Yes. Looks like this. Yes, and I also see something else. Yeah. They've got another house which is called, I think, the Hunting Lodge. Yeah. And which is for two people. Yeah. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I, I must say, I haven't looked that one up. Yeah. Um, maybe I can, I can find that for you. Yeah, the thing is, um, I think the reason why I didn't look that one up or why, why I didn't write that one down is it's probably booked. Yeah. Because of the pandemic, lots of holidays were cancelled and then they are just booked within the coming yeah, months. Yeah, so we so can't get a stay this year. No. Well, but the Ch Chaplain's house looks amazing as well. It's a mid-Victorian lodge. Yes, so. and I remember. I remember us walking walking beside it. Really? And seeing it, yes. It, it's, <sighs> because it's, it's, it's not far away of ours. I think it's probably a 10 minutes walk. Yeah. I just remember how much I love the house. Yeah. It's it's absolutely beautiful. The garden is amazing. Yes, and it's got a special feel because of the Gothic style. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. The next thing I think is special as well, and the thing is I can't even say what my favourite would be. I think I have a favourite place, but <laughs> it is, on the other hand, so difficult. Yeah. So the next estate, it's called Seno Park in Norfolk. Yeah. Norfolk was actually on our list a couple, of, yes. yeah, a couple of months ago. And did you look it up, Seno Park? Yes, and it's also special because it's a house which was built at the beginning of the 20th century, or finished at the beginning of the 20th century. So it's not a very, very old house, but it's got a special style. And it has a special owner. Yes, yes. Uh, it was owned by the Thomas Cook family. Yes. It says here, so it's an Edwardian home and built by Thomas Albert Cook, who was the grandson of Thomas Cook. Yeah. And so the inventor of modern holiday travel that yeah. had, well, that went bust last year. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, it was a big tragedy, to be honest. Um, but the, the estate looks amazing. Nonetheless. Yes, it's big. I've seen an area and it's really big. Yeah. Um. And they have a beautiful boathouse on the estate that you can book. Yes. It looks amazing. Yes, it's as a boathouse is. It's next to the water. Beautiful. And it's overlooking, I think, it's, it's not a lake, I think it's a river. And it's just it just looks beautiful on the pictures. It does, it does. Because yeah. it's got high ceilings, it's very spacey, and it's the furnishing is very tasteful, so it looks good to me. It looks wonderful. Yeah. Very and special. I can imagine myself sitting on the veranda overlooking the river and the sun yeah, in the, in the <laughs> afternoon and having a nice gin tonic. <laughs> yes, totally. But what we shouldn't forget is what they filmed there. Yes. So they filmed some of the scenes of Agatha Christie's A Coup A with David Suchet. Yeah, that's the I think the, the newest one and it's the, the, yeah. the TV series which yes. we can see. Yeah. So that's definitely worth visiting. Yes. We would love to go yes. there. And yeah, check it out. We will also, we will put every link down below for you in, in case you want to check it out more. Maybe you want you want to stay there yourself. Yeah. So we gave you some ideas. Now, the next thing is very special as well. And I must say, we have a lot of Agatha Christie um, yeah. locations here in this video. Yeah, today, yes. <laughs> So the next thing is Berg Island. Yes, and I think Berg Island is special because it's got a hotel there, and the hotel is in the Art Deco style. So it was, I think, it was built 
1929 to 1930, and it's, it's never been, been changed much since then. So you can really feel and see the and unique Art Deco style. And what I think what makes Bird Island so special is it's a small tidal island in South Devon. Yeah. We have been to Devon, but just the north, and I must say South Devon is definitely something, it's a place we want to visit. Yes. And because it's an island, it's just the hotel and a couple of buildings. Yeah. And it's very, very unique. Yeah, because you, even you can't drive with a car to, to the island. No. You no. have to take a kind of tractor which brings you uh, to the hotel. Yeah. And what they filmed there, and I can totally get why they yeah. used this, it's they uh, filmed the 2001 adaptation of A Crew Paul, Evil Under the Sun. Yes. Which really makes sense. Yeah, which is located on an island in a hotel. Yeah. yeah. We must say we love the, we love Peter Ustinov. Yeah. As a crew wobble, and we what it, it's not too long ago that we watched Evil Under the Sun. Yeah, but the, the older version. The older version. Which wasn't filmed in Devon, I think it was filmed in Greece. I'm not I'm not sure if it even was I think it was Spain, but I'm not don't quote me on it. But it really makes sense that they used Berg Island for the latest adaptation. Yes, because it's done. Absolutely. Because a crew plays yeah, in the 20s, and so you've got that style of the 20s. Yeah, and the hotel is called, it's Bird Island Hotel. Yeah. Um, it's, I think this one is the most expensive on the list. Yeah. Uh, so, well, have a look. And the next location. I've been wanting to go there for the last two years. Yes. And... I don't know. Yeah, and we've seen it in a lot of movies and series. So it's used very frequently. And it's Castle Howard. Yeah, Castle in, Howard. Uh, North Yorkshire. Yeah. And for those of you who remember, I remember our, our video uh, that we did on New Year's Eve when we, when we mentioned Bridgerton and yeah. uh, the, the many sex scenes. Yeah, so <laughs> parts of Bridgerton were filmed on the estate. Yes. Definitely, they were filmed there, and I must say, I think the the castle looks breathtakingly beautiful. Yes, it's amazing. And not only they not only filmed Bridgerton there, they filmed Brighthead revisited by Evelyn Val, and not only the version from oh sorry, not only the two thousand and eight version, but even the nineteen eighty one yeah. version. Yeah, and they also used it for the filming of the ITV series Victoria. Which we love. Which we love, yeah. We really love really nice. it. So that would be a very nice location or a very yeah. nice thing to stay yes. because it's close to York as well. Yeah. And York is beautiful. Yeah. York is one of the, let's say, oh, one of our favorite cities in the UK. Absolutely, yes. And what they have there on the estate is the so-called the, the librarian's cottage. Yes. And, um, yeah, Christian showed me a picture of it from the outside and told me, yeah, it was used uh, for Brighton, I know, Bridgerton. 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 Mm -hmm. And I thought, where was it used? And then I remembered it was used when she went into the village to give, uh, let's say, the people some baskets and we yeah. put things in it. The main character. Yeah. Which is very embarrassing because, do you know, I don't know. Daphne. Daphne, so the main character. You can totally, when we, when we, well, when we show you the picture here of the librarian's cottage and you probably will recognise yeah. it straight away. Because they just filmed in front of it. Yeah. So there's a, a small village on the estate and it looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, and the cottage also looks stunning. Yeah, really it's, nice. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. Nice and cosy. Yeah, cosy, quirky. The next, the next location is Leith Hill in the Surrey Hills. Yes. Which is on the Tunhurst Estate with a beautiful quirky tower, Leith Hill Tower. Yeah, and 
a thermal location is not a building of a house. No. It's the countryside. Um, everybody who's seen the last adaptation of Emma, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they did a picnic. I, I think that's one of the famous, famous scenes in all, all of Emma films, the picnic outside. They filmed the picnic outside there. Yes. Yeah, and also in the 2009 adaptation. And the thing is, um, there's actually... Sorry that I wrote it down. So, in the, in the novel, Austin wrote about Emma visiting Box Hill, which is just a few miles to the south, yeah. and they used Leith Hill because, the, because of the stunning views. Yes. It's actually the second highest point in southeast England. So yeah. it would probably be, it is probably the most amazing spot yes. for Pickett. Yes, and everybody who watched the movies, yeah, knows that that's the same view. So we could have a picnic there ourselves yes. Yes. if we would stay there. And they have, a, actually, this is a bit of a different accommodation. Yeah. Um, it's called the Little Foxmoor Barn. It looks beautiful, just different. It's probably yeah. a bit more modern. Yes, the furnishing is more modern and it's it's a barn which has been converted into a holiday apartment. But I must say it looks, it looks stunning. Yes. And also, um, so there's not only Leith Hill, if we would go there, there's Leith Hill Place, so a house, yeah. which has a connection to Charles Darwin as well. Yes. So, it, I think it belonged to his sister. Who lived there. A composer lived there. And a composer, which was his nephew or such a thing. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. And he frequently stayed there. Yes, and did, I think, some, some uh, yeah. not projects, or how do you some say? Some research. Yeah, so yeah. that would be great. Yeah, and it, I think it belongs now to the National, National Trust. It does. So it's uh, well maintained and I think it's really well kept. Yeah, actually many places, most of the places we've chosen are National Trust property. Yes. I think. Yeah. Which leads us to the last. I think that's your favourite. It's. I'm not. The thing is, I tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> well, the let the last the last house is Greenway House, which is yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but you've told me, and that's why I know. It's the home of a house of. Agatha Christie. The, a holiday home. A holiday, the holiday home. home of Agatha Christie. Also in South Devon. Yes. And they filmed the final Poirot film there with uh, David Sushi. So, so the season finale. Yeah. And I, I don't want to influence you in any way when choosing, <laughs> I must say. Because... What we, what we found there, we could stay at the lodge, which is quite small. Yeah. They actually, they have the most amazing thatched cottage there that you can rent. But it's booked, I think, until the 2000, November 2022. 22. So there's no chance we can book it. Um, I just think it would be beautiful because it belonged to Agatha Christie herself. And I must say, the location is is so special. Yeah. I mean, just check out the views. Yeah, I think you can see the water, the harbour, everything, so it looks really nice. It looks very nice. And actually, I just, I, I told you, you can, you can even stay. In the house itself, you could rent an apartment, which would be probably the best thing, but it's for eight people, so it would be yeah. too big for us. So we would have to invite our family. Yes, we would. Uh, I could mean, be there, yeah. it, it would be. It would be lovely, I must say. And I don't know, Jörg, do you have, without like influencing subscribers, but do you have a favourite? I'm not so sure. No? No, I've seen pictures, as I said, Island. I like Berg Island because of the style, because I like this Art Deco style. Um, but let's say also Castle Hall would be nice. True. Yeah, because I think you could do a lot of things there. Yeah. yeah. I think 
all of their locations are are wonderful. I mean, yeah. no matter what you will make us choose, there are so many places we can visit apart from the estate or the castle itself. Yeah. There's just so much to see. Yeah. And yeah, it it it's just fun to plan. And we thought, well, we would involve you and just like let us know what your favourite place would be in the comments below and what do you think would be the best like time wise your yeah? one or two weeks max yeah two, two, yeah two weeks yeah because we have to make a booking then uh, to secure the place and it it will probably happen like in autumn yeah autumn late autumn and it would be amazing. Let us know. We know that so many of you can't travel and we think you would really enjoy if we filmed places there yes. for you to check out. No, yeah, and it's always nice to see things or places uh, which you've seen in movies or TV series. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. remember when we went to, how is it called, this harbour where they filmed Tordak? Uh, Charlestown in Cornwall. Charlestown and Cornwall with, with Kirsten's parents. Yeah. And it was amazing because you've seen it on screen, on screen or on TV, and then you're suddenly standing there, and you can imagine that's how it must have been, and you imagine your famous film character standing there, and it's just it's just a special feeling. I just remember when we went there, they were actually they were filming there. Yeah. So like the day before, we decided to go to Charlestown with my parents, yeah. and when we arrived, they did, or they didn't film. They prepared everything, yeah. and it was so interesting. And we were waiting. Yeah. But we didn't see any actors. No, yeah. But it was interesting, really interesting to see. My parents love Paul Doug as well, and you know. There is a video when we visited yeah. um, Charlestown here on this channel. It's an older video, but we can yeah. link that for you. And yeah, we just love that. There's so many, so many places to stay. Yeah. <laughs> and while I have to say, while doing like the research, we came across some beautiful houses to visit where they didn't do uh, filming. No, they did filming there, but they didn't have any possibility to stay on yeah. the estate. Yeah. So we have so many plans. Yeah. Our, let's say two visit list it is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's not getting smaller, that's for no. sure. No. So let us know what you think, where you want us to stay, and yeah, we hope you liked it and it's nice. We think it's nice to get to get you involved yeah. in, in planning. And stay tuned for the next video. Yeah. Stay safe. And stay take care. safe as always. Yeah, please. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.